Hey everyone, welcome back to Barbie Dolls of the Week. I just want to quickly show this doll because someone asked me about it in a recent video. It's usually behind me in the videos. Here's what the front of the box looks like. It's from Michaelman, or Mickelman. I'm not sure how that's pronounced. I pronounce it Michaelman. And his name is Dominique, and it says that on this tag. I think this is a very space agey looking outfit, by the way. It reminds me of something from Space 1999 or something like that. Got an interesting face. So I just wanted to show that, especially for that person who asked about it. Okay, so a couple things related to last week's video on changing out heads. I've had two attempts, and one went well, and that's the first one I'm going to show you, and one went so far not too far. So this is the doll that I had that was in the um, uh, Atlanta 96 body. But I switched her with this doll, which it's not a perfect match. You can tell this head is lighter than this body, definitely. Um, but it came off, both heads came off pretty easily. I took off the little extra piece at the top. And I think she looks pretty good on this body. I mean, again, the head is definitely darker, but I think that's the closest one I had. I just wanted to try it. Um, now she has a body that's, of course, articulated and a lot more flexible. So that's good. Not too flexible there. Uh, so anyway, I think it looks pretty good. But like I said, it is definitely not exact, an exact match. Now, on the other hand, I was trying the same thing with this doll, which was the L.A. Lakers player from the NBA. And um, this was the doll I was going to switch her with. I got this head off with no problem and took off the big extra piece that I'm talking about at the top. Now it can come on and off very easily like the old ones used to. But I cannot get this head off. So I'm not sure. Hold on a second. Let me get that out of there. I'm not sure why that is, but, um, by the way, her hair is, wasn't a ponytail. It's got a lot of loose hair, by the way. Um, yeah, it just looks bad, this hair. I'd have to, if I was worried about that, I'd be fixing it, but I'm not really worried about this head. But, yeah, it's on here, something different, and, you know, I don't want to break it, but I haven't been able to get it off. It's, it's a lot different kind of head in there, but this is the body that I was trying to use with her, and I think that would have been a decent match but uh, anyway can't do it right now so if anybody has any tips on how to get this head off let me know I'm not sure what's so different about it uh, the body's obviously a lot different uh, but yeah anyway moving on to today's main topic which is a series of dolls that came out in the late 90s this was the Great Fashion, or yeah, let me see, Great Fashions of the 20th Century Collection. And I've got three of them here to show you today. I think it was an excellent collection. I really, really like it. And these were, um, let's see, I think these were for Barbie collectibles. But you could just get them in the store. I mean, you didn't have to order them online or anything like that, because not a lot of people were ordering online yet, I don't believe. I know I wasn't back in the late 90s. I uh, like this is 97 it says so probably out 98 but this is my favorite one and I've probably shown it before but this is worth a second look this is from the 1910s and it's called promenade in the park and I think I have a loose one downstairs in a cabinet display cabinet I'm not positive but I think I do anyway I just love this doll it's such a beautiful doll in every way the face, the makeup, let me give you a closer look, and the costume is excellent with that, um, I mean this to me is what <laughs> Barbie should be about partially is great fashion and it's just not really happening lately. But anyway, this is an excellent one. Here's the back and a better picture of her with you know parasol and um, that beautiful hat that she's got on you can see the hat a little more in this picture than you could in the box because some of the detail is behind her it says in the 1910s and women everywhere are changing they begin to get more involved going outside of their home lives and families uh, as women change so do their fashions uh, stylish suits reflect a more active role their large and ornate hats show an ever-present feminine touch 
The hats of this time are almost all uniformly large and bril brilliantly decorated with ribbons and layers of tulle sometimes. Uh, let's see, women's new active role also controlled the width of their skirts as they walk more, join clubs and become more involved. Skirts narrow and become more practical. Gone are the large sweeping skirts and hoops of the Victorian times. It's a much more tailored, slimmer look, which is true. So, absolutely love this one. One of my all-time favorites of Barbie collectible dolls like this. So, I wanted to show that one for sure. Uh, now, this next one is from the 1930s. Let me just double check. Yep, 1930s. Stepping out Barbie. And here she is. Now, I like this one, but not nearly as much as the first one. Um, and, you know, it's got a great picture of her on the back. And she's got that black... Uh, dress with the top part that's nice and shiny and then these two side parts that she can hold that sort of go around uh, I believe they're attached to the boa uh, deal so it says in her striking gown with a black and silvery bodice uh, she epitomizes the glamour of the 1930s with flow uh, flowing chiffon and marabou stole and long black evening gloves, she sweeps into a grand hotel with a tuxedo gentleman or dances across the silver screen with her favorite partner in a light-hearted musical. So yeah, just like the movies of the 30s, they've got the gentleman here in the tuxes that you can see uh, right there on the sides. And here's a closer look at her face. Again, a beautiful doll. I mean, the makeup on these is incredible. Uh, I really like it. I just think they're so classy. And this is what I like about Barbie is classiness and, um, you know, showing all this style and sometimes a look of grace as well. I mean, it's, it's hard to portray that in a doll, but I think this kind of doll does. And it's what's lacking in the market today, I believe, with the dolls. Um, now, as somebody said, the dolls are not... Um, maybe as popular as they were back then or even before but why not still make the ones you make the best you can so um, anyway I'm not gonna get back on that subject <laughs> okay and then this one is from the fabulous 40s great fashions of the 20th 20th century and this says by the way fourth in a series let's see so stepping out must have been third yeah and the, so I'm I don't have the 1920s one I think that was a flapper maybe I think I'd have to look that one up. Uh, and I don't know how, how many there were in this series. So actually I'm going to look that up as well. Out of curiosity. Now this is my least favorite of the three I'm showing you today. It's not that I don't like it. But it's just my least favorite. I think it's partially the hair and the face on the doll. Because I do like the outfit. Um, but the face is not my favorite. And the hair. I'm not a big fan of that hairstyle. I think she does look better here. Uh, on the box, you know, a lot of times dolls look better in the pictures, the prototype pictures, than they do in person. And I'm, unfortunately, I think this is an example of one who does not look quite as good as the pictures. Uh, if you look at her face closely, it's just kind of, I don't know, it's just not as nice as those other two, in my opinion. And as I said, I don't like that hairstyle, and it's not flattering to her face. Um, so let's see a little bit of what they say here. Fabulous 40s Barbie doll is very height is the very height of glamour in her radiant crimson charmeuse skirt and crepe jacket, elegantly topped with a black faux fur stole. She wears a hat with a black feather and crimson rose on top of her stylishly coiffed golden curls. Now, speaking of golden curls, if you look at her hair here, I like it better than here. It's it's a big difference. So. Um, Again, and the style, but if we just focus on the clothes for a minute and the style, it's excellent. Just like the other two. It's just the face that I'm, and the hair that I'm not as uh, crazy about. So, again, this is a great series. I really encourage you, if you can ever, if you don't have them, to get your hands on them if you'd like. By the way, look at that pin she has. It's kind of like a dragonfly or something. I'm not quite sure. But boy, that is a beautiful little touch. Sometimes today with the fashionistas, they add one little plastic bracelet and they're like, oh, you get an accessory and you get an accessory and you get an accessory each doll. But this has actual earrings and a bracelet and a pin and, you know, a hat and a stole and a, everything else. So it's just not the same. But 
I just think this is a great series. So, I hope you have enjoyed watching this video today and learning more about the great fashions of the 20th century. I wish they would do one of the 21st century or the 19th century, but not going to hold my breath. So, you guys have a great week, and I will talk to you again next time. Bye-bye.